All right, everyone out there in the great old auto body industry on Long Island, it's the one and only Crash Course Podcast. Transition over from the radio. All right, this is Crash Course Podcast. Welcome to another exciting episode directed at the Long Island auto body industry. Take a look at this, guys. Collision Services Network. All right. Are you part of this? Are you a member? You should be. All right. Collision Service Network. CollisionServiceNetwork.com. We're in our fourth year, and there's a reason for that. All right. We're in growth mode. Um, if you've never heard of us, stay tuned. All right. And go check us out at CollisionServiceNetwork.com. So CollisionServiceNetwork.com is the one and only, the one and only original network dedicated to, listen up, hello, listen up, dedicated to promoting and supporting the privately owned and operated auto body industry. That's right, guys. That's a novel thing, right? What a novel, what a novel idea. So for the last four years, we've been promoting and supporting the privately owned and operated auto body industry. All right. And that includes Nassau and Suffolk County. And we have, we have, all right, some of the most amazing client body shops on our network, right? And a lot of these folks have, while supporting their industry, promoting their company, and take a look at right here, okay? Right there, folks. Take a look. All right, guys? What does that say? Generate new business. Woo! What a novel idea, right? Generate new business, new business leads. Without, without, Getting in bed with the insurance company. That's called free enterprise, right? It's called free markets. It's called running your business for you, not for somebody else. All right, so when you become a member of Collision Service Network, right, you get to support and promote your industry, and at the same time, you get to market and promote your business. It's amazing. Two things dovetail very nicely together. And uh, that's what we're doing here at CollisionServiceNetwork.com. But, hey, it gets even better than that, all right? And listen up. Listen up. Hello. 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 Listen up, all right? I know you guys have a short attention span out there. Pay attention, all right? This is time for school again. So not only can you generate new business, support your industry, and promote your own company, but guess what? Podcast, the radio show, Crash Course, Crash Course Podcast, the one and only, the original. We've been doing this for two and a half years, and guess what we're doing? We're talking to the folks, right? Do you talk to the folks? Do you have an outreach program? Do you have a public relations program? No. I know you don't, right? You guys don't even spend a penny on advertising. You certainly don't have a public relations program, all right? But we do, and we've been reaching the folks and talking to the folks and interacting with the folks. You know who the folks are? The folks are your your potential customer, right? Check it out. Pretty novel again, right? What a concept. Guys, listen up, man. The Long Island auto body industry is phenomenal at complaining and bitching and pointing things out and scratching their head and throwing all this shit up in the air and, and, and having a tantrum and doing the jig. And then at the end of the day, they do nothing. They do nothing. Hey, and I know there's another guy out there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mention their name because I'm. I'm not gonna give them a plug or give them any. Uh, any any free time on on uh, on Crash Course podcast. But we know who we're talking about, right? The other guys, right? The other guys out there who say that they educate and inform. Um, what is it? They educate and inform their their members, right? Their members, um, so they can make better business decisions. What a crock! What a crock of shit that is, right? What are they informing about, and what are they educating? Let me guess, what, on auto body matters? Folks, guys, you can get this, you can get that stuff on Fender Bender Magazine, Auto Body Repairman's Magazine, iCar, uh, ASE, uh, Society of Collision uh, Repair Specialists, all right? Guess what? This is the 21st century. All that shit, it's all available everywhere. It's everywhere. They all have Facebook pages. They have, uh, you Google this, Google that. So that stuff, that's the past. That's the past. All right, we're the future. Past, future. So own your future 
Help your industry and support and promote your business by becoming a member of CollisionServiceNetwork.com. I don't know. I don't know how more easy I can explain that. Past, present, future. Right? Past. We're in the present, and we're focused on the future. I know that might be a little difficult for you guys, so I'm going to say it a little slower. The Long Island auto body industry, the competition is stuck in the past. Past. Right? Collision Service Network present and we're focused on the future right are you i don't know and if you're listening to me on this podcast and you work with the insurance companies all right (laughs) that's what i think of that that's being funny seriously though you can't be two things to two people all right i think i got that a little backwards you can't be all things to all people right that's the fancy speak of it right it's basic but it it's meaningful, right? It's purposeful, right? It has real applicability in the Long Island auto body industry, right? So think about it. What do I mean by that, right? The competition, they want to shake hands with the other guys, right? We all know who the other guys are, the insurance guys, right? They want to wink and nod, a little pat on the back. Then they want to run over and say, hey, pat you on the back. Hey, how's it going, man? Listen, we're going to support you. We're going to educate you and inform you about what? We're educating and informing. CollisionServiceNetwork.com. We're doing it every week. We've been doing it for two and a half years, talking to the folks. We're educating the folks, the consumer. All right? We're letting them know what their rights and expectations are when it comes to their auto policy. What a novel thing that is. What a concept. Talking to the folks, educating them. We're giving them information and knowledge they need and can use and advice they can trust. All right? They're not doing that. They're never going to do that. They never intended to do that. All right, guys, listen up. You you can't you can't be duplicitous and think that you're going to ever move forward. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All right, and I can prove that because this, all right, this right here. Hello, hello. Listen up. I know your attention span. All right, some of you guys might be losing some of you guys already. See this? This is a a letter, political letter, to an amazing assemblyman, Gandalfo, assemblyman Gandalfo. I've been working with this gentleman. For about a year now. All right. And you see all these signatures, sponsors. All right. Assemblymen that sponsored this initiative to DFS, Department of Financial Services. You know what that initiative is? It involves Reg 64. You know how many changes have been made to Reg 64? Not many. In fact, none significant to the core principles. And regulations, as far as our research shows, almost 50 years of any significant changes to the core. core. Don't get all excited and go out there and, and uh, you know, and dial up somebody else and say, ah, this guy's full of shit. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about the core aspects of the regulation. Yeah, on the periphery, there's been things added for sure. Um, but when it comes to the core principles and, and, and regulations contained in there, <clears throat> None. But we are trying, right? We're making a difference, a real difference, all right? This initiative here that we're working with this assembly on, when it comes to fruition, okay, and it's currently, it's currently sitting with the Department of Financial Services right now. Uh, it's being reviewed over there um, for, for applicability, all right? These revisions to the, to the reg, all right, we've identified, we've identified two parts of the reg all right, this is part of the initiative here. I'm not going to get into detail on it because it's 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 too wordy. But suffice it to say that this initiative will allow, all right, or will facilitate the auto body industry here on Long Island to realize a better profit margin when it comes to paint materials. Right, I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. Now the other guys sit on their ass, all right, and blow smoke up yours at all their fancy meetings and their hot dogs and hamburgers and running around smacking each other on the back and howdy doody and how you doing. It's amazing. And you're, 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 con- you're all conforting together with guys that are, that are screwing you. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's quite a concept, quite a concept. So on the one hand, you're patting each other on the back and, hey, everything's great. And, and, then, and then the guy right the guy right next to you is the guy that's, that's putting the fucking knife in your back because uh, – you know, he's in bed with five or six or eight or nine different insurance companies. Guys, wake up. Give me a break. All right? 
Almost 30 years I was in this business on the insurance side. Now I'm over nine years on the collision side. All right? It's bullshit. It doesn't work like that. All right? The direct repair programs become a de facto monopoly when they populate such a small industry as the Long Island auto body industry. All right? Now, it is statewide, obviously. We all know that. Uh, but let's be realistic. When you get outside of the metro area here, right, it's not a lot going on out there. All right? There's not as much congestion. A lot of other stuff is spread out. I'm talking about specifically the Long Island body industry. All right? You got to start thinking outside the box, guys. All right, if you're, you're a young guy or you're a new owner of a body shop and you just took it over, give us a call, 631-452-2569. We want to talk to you. We want you to be part of us. Start realizing how you can protect your future, all right, by supporting and promoting your industry and also promoting your business. CollisionServiceNetwork.com, all right, supporting and promoting the privately owned and operated auto body industry here for the last four years talking to the folks for the last two and a half by this podcast, Crash Course. Give us a call, 631-452-2569. All right, and uh, start uh, start controlling your future, all right? Start trying to help make sure that this industry remains a viable industry here in, here in New York on Long Island, all right? You heard it first here, Crash Course. Tune in next time.